Hi all, these are the summary lectures of group theory. In this lecture, we will study what is abstract algebra. So, before we study what is abstract algebra, we need to see what is algebraic structure or I can say what is abstract structure. So, the definition of algebraic structure, what is that? That is basically a non-empty set and one or more closed operation. So, you have a non-empty set and on that non-empty set, we define one or more closed operation. This pair, okay, so this is called algebraic structure. Now, for example, so basically algebraic structure, that means you have a base set, you have a non-empty set and there are one or more operations which are defined on this set. So, for example, I can say this is an algebraic structure set of integers on set of integers we are defining the addition operation so this is your set of integers this is your base set on this base set we are defining this operation okay this is your base set set of natural number and on this base set we are defining two operation addition comma multiplication similarly this is this is the base set set of integers and on this base set we are defining three operations so basically all of them are algebraic structure this is algebraic structure this is algebraic structure this is also algebraic structure and also set of matrices on that we define this operation product so this is also algebraic structure now in the gate syllabus we only have those algebraic structure in which we have only one operation so you can notice in this algebraic structure we have two operations so this is this we don't have in gate syllabus in this algebraic structure we have this base set on this base set we have three operations so this algebraic structure also we don't have in the gate syllabus in the gate syllabus if you notice then we, we have those algebraic structure where you have a single operation. So, this is the idea. Okay. Now, once this algebraic structure is clear, so remember, algebraic structure has a non-empty set. You have a non-empty set and one or more closed operation. What is a closed operation? This will be clear in the next video. In the next video, I will tell you what is the meaning of closure property. What is the meaning of closed? I will tell you in the next video. So anyway, what is the algebraic structure? Algebraic structure is basically a non-empty set. On this non-empty set, you are defining one or more closed operation. Remember, in this algebraic structure, these operations, these operations, they, they need not binary operation. They can be ternary operation also. Okay. So for example, if you notice this, this is structure, if you notice integer comma addition. So this addition is basically a binary operation. This addition this is a binary operation because this addition what it will do it will take two values they can be same or different so it will take two values and the result will be five so this addition operation it will take two values remember those two values they can be same or different so i can say it will take two values and the result will again be an integer okay so this is the idea so this is a binary operation this addition but remember so i can say this is a algebraic structure this structure is algebraic structure but remember in the algebraic structure we can also have uh, we can also have ternary operation so for example this is an example of ternary operation so you have a set of natural number on set of natural number we are defining this operation f okay so on this uh, set of natural number this operation we are defining and this operation will take three values this will take three values same or different this will take three values and the result will be a b plus c this will be the result so for example if i give Remember this operation, this operation we are defining on set of natural number. So this operation will take three values, same or different from the set of natural number. So this ABC, they will come from the set of natural number. So let me take, for example, maybe A comma B can be one, one and C can be two. So what will be the result? The result will be one multiplied by one plus two and that will be three. So this is the idea. So remember this operation F, this operation, this can be ternary operation also. For example, they can be different also. For example, they can be different. So what will be the result? The result will be 11. Okay. So this is the idea. And they can be same also. For example, 1, 1, 1 and the answer will be 2. Okay. So this is the idea. So basically, we have no, what is definition of algebraic structure? Algebraic structure is a non-empty set. On that non-empty set, we have one or more closed operation. These operations, they can be binary, ternary, they can be any. For example, this operation is ternary operation. Okay, because it will take three values. This operation F, it will take three values. They can be same or they can be different. So these three values that this operation F will take, these will be from the set of natural number. Okay, so this is the idea. So I can say, what is the algebraic structure, the final definition? That is a non-empty set plus one or more anary closed operation. Okay, so the operations can be ternary, binary, forary. Okay, so the operations can have 
any entity okay so this is the idea this is the definition of algebraic structure now what is abstract algebra this is our question what is the definition of abstract algebra abstract algebra is study of these algebraic structure all the all the algebraic structure that i told you the study of these algebraic structure that is called abstract algebra but in the gates syllabus what we have in the gates syllabus we only have those algebraic structure with one binary operation so we don't have ternary operation we don't have more than one operation we have a single binary operation so okay in gates syllabus remember in gates syllabus we have a non empty set on that non empty set we have one binary operation single binary operation okay so this is the idea now these all these are all these are algebraic structures all, all of them are algebraic structures so many different type of algebraic structures we have these are abstract structures algebraic st structure or you can call them abstract structures okay so remember both are same abstract structure algebraic structure structure both things are same and many different type of algebraic structure we have okay so for example these are the structures these are the algebraic structure with single binary operation this is what we have in the gate syllabus so these are algebraic structure with single binary operation and these structures we have in the gate syllabus okay and these structures they have many operations for example these have several operations these we don't have in the gate syllabus but we have these two in the gate syllabus we have already seen what is lattice what is boolean algebra okay these we have in the gate syllabus so basically this lattice comma boolean algebra these are also algebraic structure for example this lattice this lattice what is this lattice this lattice is a algebraic structure in this you have a set on this set you have two operation that is glb comma lub so this is the definition of lattice i can say lattice is a algebraic structure in, in which you have a non empty set this is your base set non empty set and these are the two operations these are the two binary operations these are the two binary operations so i can say this lattice this is also a algebraic structure so this is the idea okay this lattice is a algebraic structure in which you have a set you have a non empty set and on that non empty set we have two operation that is glb comma lub and we have already seen in the lattice chapter that all these properties are satisfied by every lattice every lattice will satisfy idempotent property commutative property associative property and absorption property so this we have seen in the lattice chapter if you have any doubt then you can watch the lattice lecture we have already seen okay so this is the idea i can say in the gates syllabus we have algebraic structure with single binary operation okay so all the algebraic structures that you have with a single binary operation they these of these structures can be divided into five categories these are the five categories in which you can divide all the algebraic structure with single binary operation so these are the different different structures that we have and these are what we have in the gates syllabus so from the next lecture we will study these structures we will study now remember why this classification so these structures can be classified there are many different type of structure some structures are groupoid some structures are semi group some structures are monoid okay some structures are group and some structures are abelian group this classification is done based on properties so for example if you have some structure and that structure satisfies closure property then that structure will be called groupoid or magma if these two properties are satisfied closure and associative property if these two properties are satisfied then that structure okay that will be called semi group if these three properties are satisfied closure property associative property identity property then that structure will be called monoid if these four properties are satisfied closure associative identity inverse if these four, four properties are satisfied then that structure will be called group and if you have a group means all these four properties are satisfied and also this commutative property is satisfied then that structure that structure will be called abelian group so i can say that these algebraic structures with single binary operation depending on the properties that they satisfy we can classify them in five categories these are these are the five categories in which you can classify these structures with single binary operation and these structures we have in the gates syllabus now what is the definition of group theory group theory is basically the study of algebraic structure group this algebraic structure is very important okay this group this structure is ex extremely important so basically most of the time we study group in this okay from uh, from the next lecture onwards most of the time we will study group what is a group this we will study from the next le lecture onwards so what is group theory group theory is basically a study of algebraic structure known as group group theory is a study of group okay